Hello and welcome to the world of building design. This is the Revit MEP tutorial number two. Uh, in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to add some mechanical equipment to, uh, to your uh, mechanical model. Uh, so as you can see, there is a 3D model of our uh, plan. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, to add some mechanical equipment. For this tutorial, I would like to add a rooftop unit. Uh, so I would bring a rooftop unit for the roof and also add some VAV boxes in the first floor. So in order to see uh, our roof plan, we can go to the project browser on the left side of your screen um, and we hit on the roof under the floor plan two times. And we see our roof plan so i would like to position a, a mechanical equipment or basically an air handling unit uh, on the roof in this area uh, so to bring a mechanical equipment the first thing you want to do is to go on the tab on the systems and this is a command mechanical equipment where you can uh, bring all of your equipment uh, from the library folder into your model. So I'm going to open this model. And so something that is in here in default right now is a VAV box. Uh, I'm going to ignore that. So I press the escape one time and I press on mechanical equipment again. And I use this library on the left hand side and scroll up and down. So I don't see any mechanical equipment that I would like to bring to my model. So I have to bring it from a, from a library of families. So there is a command on the right hand side on the top that is called load family. So you press on the load family and you go to a folder where you have to bring your specific uh, equipment model into your plan. So looking into here, I'm going to find the mechanical folder. Under the mechanical folder, I go into MEP. And then because this is a rooftop unit and is a mechanical unit, air handling unit, I go to the air side component folder. And under air handling unit, I press on the air handling unit. And in here, I would like to find a horizontal air handling unit. So let's find that unit from this uh, directory. So I'm going to pick this M dash outdoor air handling unit horizontal. I highlight on that and I press open. When I press open, I'm not going to see anything. Uh, so I have to go back to my directory of the families and scroll down and up until I find that unit. You see that unit is now loaded in here. So I don't care which one of these units I'm selecting because this is just for the demonstration purpose. Uh, I'm going to select, um, say, I'm going to select the largest uh, unit, uh, 5.7 square meter of uh, coil. I press on that and then when I come here I can just locate, locate it on the roof and I press on the left, uh, I click on the left, uh, left side on your uh, mouse and then escape two times. So the unit is located on the roof right now but I would like to uh, create some elevation from the roof uh, for the consideration of the um, unit curb or a housekeeping pad for the unit. So I'm going to elevate it from the roof. So in order to do that, I, I highlight that unit by left clicking on the unit. And now you see on the property of the unit, uh, on the offset from host, I highlight in here and I put um, 305 millimeter as 
the offset from the roof and I press apply. So that makes the unit to be elevated 305 millimeter from the surface of the roof. And in order to see that change, I would like to create a section uh, to, to see that change. Uh, so if you go on the top of your screen, uh, you see the, this uh, small uh, symbol for the section. I press on that and then I create a line, a section line right in between the unit and click left click on the termination point and then escape. So now where I hover my cursor, if you press on this section two times, you would go into the elevation and you, was, you would see how the unit is elevated from the roof surface. So if this is your roof, if this is the roof surface, as you can see, I hover on it and you see it is elevated from the, from the roof. Let's, let's measure and see the accuracy of what's changed. So if I press, uh, so, okay, to, to do this measurement, you press on the measurement. Let me escape. Let me go escape and show it to you. So on the top, there is an align, aligned dimension command. I press on that and then I press on my roof level and then on the bottom of my unit. So as you can see, I have created 305 millimeter elevation for this rooftop unit from the surface of the roof. roof. Okay, so, so this, this section command in Revit is a very, very useful tool and I like this tool. It's very helpful for you to, to locate and see a lot of conflict in your design as we, as we explore the other idea in the future. So once I put my unit on the roof, let's go back to the roof elevation from the top view. I press on the roof on the left hand side. And uh, so now I want to add a number of VAV units on the ceiling of first floor. Um, and in order to do that, I would like to go to the ceiling plan on the level one. So I double click on the ceiling plan level one uh, from the project browser on the left side. And now I am in the ceiling plan. Let's delete this section by highlighting it. Right click and delete. That's okay. Okay. So now in order to create some terminal unit or VAV box. Now, as you see, my rooftop unit is there as a default. I would like to go out of this selection. So I press the escape bar and then I come back to mechanical equipment. On the property bar on the left hand side, I do the left click and then now scroll up and down between the selection here to see if I have any VAV unit already loaded into, into the families here. So as you can see, we have some VAV unit, parallel fan powered unit. This is uh, for the examples only. So I'm going to use um, size, say size three for 200 millimeter inlet. Sorry, let's say 300 millimeter. So size three, 300 millimeter inlet. I left click. So that is selected. Okay, but we don't see anything when this is selected because the offset from host is zero. So basically you don't see any equipment unless you create an elevation to your first floor ceiling. So to do that, I come back to, to the left side uh, property of the VAV unit. For the offset from host, I select the elevation above the T-bar ceiling which is uh, 30, 48 millimeter. I add that in here, E48, and then apply. So once I apply, you see that the equipment is now, is now visible to us because now we are, we are moving the 
VAV box in our ceiling and it's visible in our view range. So I'm going to locate one of the VAVs in here and press escape two times. So one thing is worth noticing is that when you left click on this unit, by pressing on the space bar, you can rotate the equipment in its location. So I'm pressing on the escape so you can see as it's relocated or rotated. So press escape. So now because I have more VAVs in the same uh, ceiling area, I would like to create more VAVs of the same type. So what I'm going to do is to do a left click on the VAV unit. And then when that's selected temporarily, I'm going to right click on it and you can create similar or the other option you have is you can copy this same VAV box. So uh, let's do create similar. By creating similar, you can have the same VAV box created and you can insert any in any other location of your ceiling. But I'm going to use the copy button for this training purpose. So what I'm going to do is I do the left click on the VAV and then when you go up, you see this um, command um, symbol like circle. This is a copy. The abbreviation for this is also CO as a copy. By pressing on that, there is another subcommand appears here. For example, if you want multiple of this VAV to be copied, by pressing multiple, you can create multiple. So I'm going to create multiple of this VAV. So I'm going to select a corner of this VAV and then move to a different location. Say I want to put another unit in here. And another unit there. And another unit here. So now pressing the escape a couple of times, I've created at least four VAVs in here, right? But let's delete this VAV because I want to show you another uh, useful command that, that is helpful for naming all these VAVs. Right click, delete, okay? So once you created your first unit, by right clicking, Sorry, by left clicking on the unit, you can go to its property on the left hand side and look for this command called mark. You highlight this area for the mark and you name this VAV as VAV-1 and then press apply. So now we have this VAV named as VAV number one. Now left click, so I'm going to select, I'm going to copy again and I have multiple copies check marked already. So I'm going to select a corner of this VAV and going to select another location, copy, copy, and copy four units. Escape a couple of times. And then now if you go to your second VAV and highlight it, you see that Revit automatically names the second VAV as VAV-2, VAV-3, and VAV-4. And this is based on the numbering, based on the, the first copy that you make in different location of your ceiling floor plan. Now let's check if this VAV is located in a correct location in your ceiling plan. So as I mentioned, the section command is very useful tool that you can use for this verification. I press on section. I find the middle of the VAV on the floor plan. Left click on the, on the floor plan. Just extend the section. Left click again. 
escape a couple of times. And now, by clicking on the arrow, I, but by double clicking on the arrow, I can verify the location of this VAV. So as you can see on the elevation, this is where this VAV is located. It's uh, way above our ceiling. So let's check the elevation from the floor. So if this is our level one, I'm going to measure the elevation under the ceiling. So you see this is this is not still in a proper elevation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my level one ceiling plan, double click on the level one and correct this elevation. So how I'm going to correct that, left click on the VAV and verify where that VAV is located from. Okay, so as you can see, this is uh, 3048. Okay, so let's go back to our elevation. Okay, to select and verify the elevation, I'm going to select the level one and going to select the middle of the VAV. Okay, this is not a good elevation to, to check from because you have to exactly to select the, the same section where we have the VAV visible within it. So I'm going to select this section. Now you can see that. Let's delete this because we want to see the elevation until the middle of this VAV. So selecting level one and then middle of this VAV. So you see until between the distance between the middle of the VAV and the floor is now 30, 48 millimeter. So by now we located some VAV in the ceiling of level one and a rooftop unit uh, on roof of this building. So in order to see the roof, uh, equipment and the VAV at the same time, I'm going to position this uh, section mark a little bit further from the VAVs and if you see this uh, little um, circle, you can grab that little circle, extend it all the way to the right side of the elevation and also uh, by clicking on the section you can see this uh, little arrows. This little arrows determine uh, the visible area of your section. So by right, left clicking, holding the left click and pulling all the way out. And same thing with the, with the forward arrow, pull the way all out to the front of the building. And then left click on the section now and now you can see the VAV boxes in this section at the same time with the unit that we put on the roof. So this is the end of tutorial number two where we created a new mechanical equipment on the roof of a building, six story building, and also a number of VAV terminal units in the ceiling of level one. In the next tutorial, we'll see how to create other uh, equipment like air terminal, diffusers, and eventually connect the ductwork between the mechanical system and create an air distribution and connect to our air terminal. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe in this channel and uh, I'll see you in, your, in the next tutorial of Revit MEP. Thank you.